What if you live somewhere and you're not allowed to have an AR-15 or any other sort of modern semi-automatic defensive rifle? Then what do you do? Well, let me show you. Now I'm completely serious about this, right? <laughs> I live with these rifles virtually every day. There's one by my back door, there's one by my front door. This is a Winchester Model 94. It doesn't matter how old yours is, it doesn't matter how new it is, it doesn't matter if you like some other form of lever gun, and it also doesn't matter what caliber you want. <laughs> I'm showing you this because of reader mail. Uh, I've talked about this particular rifle before, and people are really intrigued by what I did to it. Uh, I did several custom modifications, but all of these things are easy to do, and we even did an article about it in a DIY gunsmithing special edition, which I'll tell you about. Now this is a full-size Model 94. Here's my cut down. So you can see there's not a significant difference, but you'll be surprised how just an inch or two here or there really makes a huge difference in sort of carryability and, and how convenient it is if you're gonna carry it in a truck or an ATV or something like that. First of all, I really like the 3030. It's easy to load, it's reliable. There's plenty of loading data for it. You can use almost any powder you want to. And a 150 grain soft nose jacketed bullet at 2000 feet per second is not something to make fun of. The other nice thing about a rifle like this is that it doesn't look real threatening. It's not like an evil black rifle. If this is in your truck and you get stopped by a police officer, he says, what's that? And you say, well, that's my old Western 3030. And most people just sort of go, oh, okay. Now for this particular idea here, what I've done is, because I'm kind of a medium statured guy, I like to cut about one inch off the butt stock, and then I take the barrel down to 16 and a quarter inches. I always like to leave that little quarter inch there just so nobody gets too excited later on. I also do a couple other simple modifications, and you can do these as you think fit. Uh, I change out the sights depending on what I've got laying around more than anything. I always put this sort of butt cuff on, they hold eight or 10 rounds. And then uh, underneath here, I've drilled holes in the stock so it holds another four or five rounds. Another good thing about this platform is you can load the magazine, keep the chamber empty. And if you have it set up like this, then if you pick up the rifle, you've got 18 to 20 rounds ready to go in your hand. I even keep a pair of earplugs uh, connected to it. Okay, I've loaded the magazine with five rounds and uh, I'll shoot relatively fast uh, just so you can see what's going on. We'll see how we did. I can't tell from here. Well, I don't know, call it four inches or five inches or so, but you saw that I wasn't trying real hard. We just kind of shot it pretty fast. This particular rifle would shoot about four inches at 100 yards, give or take a little bit with my pretty mild reloads. Uh, so look, take a minute, see if you can find yourself some old beater Model 94 or another lever gun that you like, and uh, think seriously about making some simple modifications to it, including putting a sling on it. That way you've got some place to put it if you need to. I find mine is really handy for around the property for personal defense if it ever came to that, uh, for putting down a deer that you may have to take out for one reason or another, uh, you know, chase a coyote out of the west pasture. All these things are custom tailored for a kind of a beater handy rifle like this. All right, hey, thanks for tuning in and uh, check out the links below. We'll tell you how to get the DIY gunsmithing annual so you can make your very own cut down model 94.